Hi everyone um, and welcome to the class. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, first off, I'd just like to tell you that now you've pressed play, you shouldn't have to rewind the class or fast forward. Um, all the breaks and the bits for you to try stuff are built into the class. Um, so it may be that you're kind of um, quite fast at doing things. So if you are, uh, feel free to have a little chat. So there is a comments box just underneath here. Um, that's not always the easiest way to comment and people are finding that actually the messenger box that we set up before the class is a bit easier. The other good thing about the messenger box is that you can also share your photos of what you're up to. So that's nice because it gives people a sense of, again, being together and people can see uh, what their classmates are, are doing and how they're getting on. And also the tutor can have a look as well. So the tutor is here. So do use them um, and ask them sort of any questions that you might have. So if there's a bit in the film that you're not clear of or you're struggling with, you know, do sort of put those questions to them and they're there to do that. Um, so it's an added bonus on, you know, just an online tutorial. Um, if you're a little bit slower and you like to take your time over things, then um, at the end of each doing session, which is marked by a clock, um, you will find that there's a buzzer that goes off. So please do um, come back and join us because, again, it's kind of trying to keep everyone together in the same class, doing the same thing at the same time, roughly. Um, so, um, yeah, and if you then uh, want to recap or there's a bit that you've missed, the videos are going to stay online um, for the near to foreseeable future. So you can always go back and have a little look at those again and also share them on with anyone that you think um, might enjoy it too. I think that's probably about it from me. So I will hand over to myself, which is a bit odd, or maybe to one of our guest tutors. All right, enjoy. Hi, my name is Sue. I'm a photographer and artist, and today I'm going to show you how to make cyanotypes using found objects in your house and in, maybe in your garden, um, and some sun uh, and a bit of water. It should be fun. Here we go. Let's start by giving you a little bit of a history lesson. Um, the cyanotype process was uh, discovered in 1842 by um, a guy called Herschel. Now he was the friend of Anna Atkins' father and her husband. And she was a botanist and she thought she was going to use this process so that she could record all her plant specimens. And she published a book called British Algae, which is a very famous book. Um, and she was a, probably the first woman to publish a book of photography. Now, she obviously used nature. And today we're going to use anything you like, any interesting shaped items you're going to find in your house or in your garden. Okay, before you start, I really recommend you fill a sink about half full of water um, and have some tiles or even the side of a bath would work. If there's four of you, maybe put some water in the bottom of a bath and make sure you've got a space on the side of your bath or the tiles where you can literally stick your piece of paper to, to it to let it dry. I find that quite helpful. If you haven't really got space to stick your image onto a, a sort of smooth surface, it's good to have a piece of cardboard or um, newspaper um, and you can just put your image straight on there and it's easier to transport. It's up to you. Both methods work really well. I also recommend you have some stones or bigger rocks on hand if it's windy and I'll show you why in a little bit. You're going to need a space outside to lay your artwork flat um, so that the sun can get to it easily. The next thing you need to do is to collect just five objects that have interesting outside edges. You can choose to have them all natural, all man-made, a mixture of the both, um, whatever you like. Um, Feathers are amazing, 
scissors, keys, jewellery, little toys. People enjoy collecting leaves. It's a good idea to, um, as a family, make this like a treasure hunt and see if you can find five, find five really lovely objects. Off you go.
Once we get to walk upon this earth Twice we get to make a mistake and learn Three times is enough to realize You're stronger than all of your doubts And for me, live your days like Second count.
Right, the next thing you need to do is find a place away from a window to open your paper. This part we do quite quickly. So I've got my five objects and I've got my paper and what I've done is taken the paper out of the black envelope and put my objects underneath the plastic on top of the paper. Making sure that I don't move the objects underneath the plastic, I'm going to take them outside and put them in an area where the, the, the whole thing will get some sun. I've put some pebbles on the corners of this image because it's a bit windy and also I'm looking at the sky and I'm thinking because it's a bit overcast I can't see the sun in the sky I'm going to expose my image for 15 minutes instead of 10. Of all the boys I've known, and I've known some Before I first met you I was lonesome But then you came inside, dear, my heart grew light And this old world seemed new to me You're really swell, I have to admit you Deserve expressions that really fit you and so I've racked my brain hoping to explain All the things that you do to me By mere vista shame Let me explain By mere vista shame means that you're grand By mere vista shame Again I'll explain It means you're the fairest in the I could say Bella, Bella, even Zelvundapa. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. And I've tried to explain by mere Mr. Shane. So kiss me and say you'll understand. By mere Mr. Shane. Heard it all before, but let me try to explain. By mere Mr. Shane means that you're grand. By mere Mr. Shane, such an old friend, and yet I should explain. It means I am begging for your hand. I could say, Bella, Bella, even Zevundaba, each language only helps me tell you. Try to explain by mere Mr. Shane. So kiss me and say you'll understand. I could say Bella, Bella, even Zevundaba. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. And I've tried to explain by mere Mr. Shane. So kiss me and say you will understand. Just kiss me and say. Gusta, la 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 gusta,
We gotta get going. Where are we going? What are we gonna do? We're on our way to somewhere, the three of us and you. What will we see there? Who will be there? Well, be the big surprise. There may be caballeros with dark and flashing eyes. We're on our way. We're on our way. Pack up your pack. Pack up your pack. And if we stay, and if we, stay we, won't we won't come back. How can we go? We don't have a dime, but we're going and we're gonna have a happy time. Now someone said he'd just come back from somewhere A friend of mine that I don't even know He told me that it's very close to nowhere If that's the case, that's the place The place we all should go We gotta get going, where are we going, what are we gonna do We're on our way to somewhere of us and you. What'll we see there? Who will be there? What'll be the big surprise? There may be caballeros with dark and flashing eyes. I'll take a tray. You take a tray. You take a boat. I'll take a boat. You take a plane. I'll take a plane. You ride a goat. You ride the goat. Oh, we don't care. We'll either walk or climb, but we'll get there and we're gonna have a happy time. Now someone said he'd just come back from somewhere And picked a few petunias in the snow He told me that it's very close to nowhere If that's the case, that's the place The place we all should go Thank you. 
Okay, so the image is quite a dark gunmetally blue colour, which shows me that it's ready. I'm going to take off my pebbles and I'm going to go inside and rinse off this artwork. Once you're out of the sunlight, it doesn't really matter if your objects move around. I'm going to just whisk those out. You can see the image quite pretty. Going over to the sink and we're going to rinse it. And you're just rinsing it in water, nothing else. It's not unsafe to put your hands in. Okay, and you'll see it changes right before your very eyes. I'm going to make sure that I rinse it one more time. So I'm going to let the water out and rinse it again. You could rinse it with the shower head if you're um, in the bathroom really. So this is what happens. It's just to make sure the paper doesn't rip. Just got to be careful. My, the paper I'm using isn't as nice as the paper you've got. What you're aiming to do is get rid of any yellow residue. So what I'm doing is just sticking it on here which lets most of the water just drip off. Once you've dried your image, if you notice there's a little bit of yellow where it should be white, you can just rinse it again and dry it as before. I hope you really enjoyed this. I enjoyed working with you and, and uh, I was very excited to see all your work. So thanks very much for this opportunity. Once you've rinsed your artwork, Take a photo of it and let us have a look and let's see how you got on, if, you're, if you found it hard or easy or how you're feeling about this activity it would be great to hear from you.
and I hope you enjoyed the class. Um, just a quick summing up from me. So thank you very much to our tutor today. Um, also thank you to all the musicians who inputted music. Um, we are passionate about making sure that we pay musicians for the music that they provide and also artists for the for the massive amount of time that they provide in producing the film and being here today. Um, so if you do find that you've got a bit of spare change in your pocket, please do um, feel free to support us on patreon.com. So from on this site, you'll find different tiers um, that you can use to support the project. So the first one is just three dollars a month um, and that will um, with lots of people joining in allow us to start paying some artists and get some new music on the films as well and then if you find yourself in a wonderful position of having a little bit more and also want to start collecting some artwork you can try the 50 pound tier and that um, you'll get a piece of artwork um, from myself every month um, so yeah Thank you very much for coming along. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do share. Um, and that's it from me. Cheerio. <laughs>